My name is Andrea Lunsford, and I teach at Stanford University. I'm author of several Bedford St. Martin's books, including the St. Martin's Handbook. My Bits blog, which is titled Teacher to Teacher, is about lots of different things. I really am talking right to teachers on my blog and trying to think whatever subject is right in the air at the time. Blogging to me is a way to say instantly what's on my mind and have a chance for someone else to respond to me. I use blogs in the classroom for several purposes. One is, uh, is to encourage students to be writing all the time. So it's, it's low stakes in the sense of that it's only for a participatory grade. It's not something that is very high stakes, um, set, but it builds fluency. I, I think blogging really does help to build fluency. It also keeps the conversation going outside of the classroom, and I think that's very important. Because there's a real audience out there, students are connected uh, to that audience and they want to reach that audience in, in a way that they don't if you just say, go home and write in your journal. I, mean, I do know people who use journaling in class brilliantly and I think that that works for a different purpose. But when you're blogging, you, you, that's you. You're responsible for what you say and you want it to look good. And so I think students who are online blogging and especially uh, blogging, let's say, in exchange with another class, they are very anxious to make what they say understandable, clear, and um, good looking. You know, they want it to be just, just right. And I find myself wanting that too. I look back at my blogs, a couple of them, and I thought, boy, I wish I had spent a little more time. I wish I had thought of a better way to say that. A friend of mine who keeps a blog, uh, he's in communication studies, but he keeps a blog that's, that's very well um, received and very, very much followed, told me that his writing has improved substantially because of his blogging, and that if he is really exhausted and puts up a blog post that's not particularly well written, people call him on it immediately and say, what's the matter with you? Why did, uh, why did you put up that blog that wasn't, wasn't up to your usual standards? So I think it can help us develop a real sense of, of style and, and voice as well as um, just a, a mode of self-expression.